What's up guys, I'm David Gordon, better known as DKG72, and it's time for the Sketchbox Challenge. Now those of you all that don't know what the Sketchbox Challenge is, that's basically, I have a subscription to a company called Sketchbox, and what they do is they put out these mystery gift boxes of art supplies every month. So I don't know what's inside the box, and the challenge is, of course, unbox it, figure out what's inside of it, and then use that to create some art. And I can only use what's inside the box. The only caveat is if it doesn't provide me any paper or anything like that, I have to get some paper that I have around, which I have plenty laying around. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing and let's get into the challenge. So first up guys, we've got the Sketchbox Signature Color Brush Pen. And now this one's in the green color and it comes in at a retail price of $7. Even though it's an exclusive to the Sketchbox and the Sketchbox company. So I don't know why they included the price, but hey, who am I? <laughs> uh, let's get, keep it moving. So basically with these pens, what happens is they have the ink in the shaft. And what you do is that you screw the nib into the shaft and the ink flows down into the brush nib. These brushes always work really well. Always love them. Have fun with them. Can't wait to try this out. Next up is the Kuretake Zig number 24 brush pen. Now this one is in the gray color and it retails for $8. And just like the signature uh, Sketchbox signature color brush, it's the exact same system. This one just comes in a cool blue shaft. So right after that, we've got the Kuretake Zig Cartoonist Brush Pen. Now this is a cool pen because it's a white pen, uh, which means that you're going to be able to do highlights and uh, all kinds of nice little line work with it. Uh, retails for $9. All right, guys, so this is the set that I'm really interested in. It's the Kuretake Zig Brushable Set. It's a set of blues. It retails for $14.66. And basically, what makes this uh, brush set unique is that if you look at each pen, they have two nibs. Now, each nib is a different hue of the color uh, that you're using. So, you will have a lighter hue on one side and a darker hue on the other. So now, instead of having to go for additional pens, extra pens all the time, you basically get a two-in-one action going. And uh, I can't wait to use these and try them out and just see how they work out. All right, next about the box is the Koinor Trigraph 2B Pencil. Now, this retails for $2.55, and it's a big, chunky, large, soft lead pencil that is always going to get the job done. Can't wait to work with it. All right, guys, last but not least is the Corinne Brush Marker Pro. It's the number one nib. It's a skin tone, and it retails for $2.05. Now, unlike the other brushes where you gotta screw in the nib to the shaft and let the ink flow down, this was ready made, ready to go. So, can't wait to try it out. Let's see what we can create. All right, now that we got the unboxing done and we've got all this cool gear, uh, it's time to put it all to use on a cool drawing. I have no idea what I'm going to draw just yet. I'll kind of figure that out as I go. And of course, since there was no paper included this time, we got lucky the last two months, obviously. So they gave us board and paper and all that good stuff. And they figured, since all this stuff is brush pens and stuff, they figured, you probably have Bristol board, sir. So let me grab some Bristol and let's figure out what we're going to do with these uh, cool pens that I just got from uh, Sketchbox. I can't wait to try this stuff out. Alright guys, now that I've got all the pins up out of the box, I'm trying to figure out exactly what to do. I think I'm going to do this cool alien girl because I got these blues going. Let's try that out. First thing I want to do, of course, is layer out and nothing better than, of course, the corner or triograph. It's a 2B pencil, 2B lead. It's going to get the job done. So I get a nice, nice even flow of lead. Looks great. Now I'm ready to go ahead and get to work. And what I'm going to try out first is the Kuretake Zig Brushables. And right off the bat, guys, really love these brushes. They're they're very nice, soft nib. A um, little bit streaky at first, but once once you get used to it, you kind of just it's really fun to play with. And on top of that, they really are good at blending. So um, really enjoying using these guys and uh, these are a major go.
So now let's go ahead and try out the Sketchbox Signature Color Brush. And once again, this really works. The Sketchbox Signature Color Brush, um, just using it makes mainly the highlight around my blue character, of course. And again, just trying to trying different things like the crosshatch pattern and stuff like that. It's really it's really good, really good. I can't can't complain. In fact, this is so good. I'm only going to just use the other two brushes, the gray and the flesh tone brush, just to kind of just do some highlights and some shadow work, and of course, decide my name. Alright guys, there's another Sketchbox challenge that's in the books. It was really fun working with all of these cool brush pins and and just uh, really having fun. Um, pins are something that I work with on a regular basis so it was really cool working with these uh, different colors, different types of pins and really kind of discovering um, what they're all about. I'm really really liking uh, these brush bowls by uh, Kuratake. So, uh, really something I'm, I'm going to kind of keep my eye on moving forward uh, these guys really came through in a pinch so really liking those um, like all the brush pins a um, little frustrated with this white because it still hasn't filled but you know probably have to just shake it to death and I haven't I don't have the time to do that and we don't have the video for that so uh, anyway love everything once again shout outs to Sketchbox with another great uh, sketchbox for the month um, if you guys are new here and you like this video please hit that thumbs up and also subscribe uh, and of course if you have uh, been here for a while hit that thumbs up also and uh, you might want to like and share the video and uh, help build this community even further and uh, of course always you can follow me on Twitter Instagram at DKG72 and of course follow the Kwame Hightower Facebook page and the Quantum University Facebook page alright guys it's your boy DKG72 I'm tired it's time to get out of here peace